But I want to I want to thank all the brothers and sisters we have gathered here today and come to together. It's a great thing. This is what we need. Indians had scattered all over all through this island here and also they scattered their language in there. They lost their language. They lost their ways of life. Culture, traditions, we're losing them. Now today we're, we're coming, we're starting to gather, we're starting to structure back our culture and traditions. This gathering here and the arts and everything, you can see the way they're working pictures and everything like that, but that all comes from the education. Of course, in the first place, this Shingwak home was built for Indians to be educated, to cope with the white people, white brothers, white sisters, work with them, get their education. That was taken away. Today, Another thing we have that, that, that's coming that, uh, in, in, in front of us today is 12th grade education, to be educated before you can apply for a job any place. You have to have that, that much education. But I want to say this much, that my people here, Indians that came from long ways to come, to come here and have this reunion, to meet one another, talk to one another, to understand, and to work together, gathering up the culture in there, which we lost. You know, a lot of people don't value what we lost, the Indians. We lost something pretty big. The great creator has gave us. We threw that away. We denied him. I don't know how, how some people feel about it, but I, I, I'm very, very touched about that, how that's going to be. <clears throat> and it's so hard sometimes to fit into another culture, which you, you got to wedge yourself in there, you don't belong there. Your education is different. The Indian, his education is a fasting, that's where he got his education. Got his education in a very hard way. He didn't eat or anything like that for days and days. You have to lay in the in the wilderness in there till he gets till the spirit comes and gives him the blessing in there what he's going to be. Way of life. Well, that's the way God had created the Indian to live that way, to survive. The Indian was a very rich man. Clothing, health, and of all the privileges and open country and everything like that. He lived with the mother nature. <coughs> his Christianity was very important to him. His Christianity was the mother nature. He walked on it, mother heard. Every day was his Sunday. He wasn't able to, he didn't have the, in our language, there's no way you can swear in our language. There's no way you can swear you the Lord's name in vain. There's no way you can do that. And stealing and, and, and doing something that you shouldn't do, you're walking right on God's creation, and he's, everything is looking at you. He was very, very sharp on that too, to, to 
keep everything in order in the morning. He had uh, families in there, maybe that uh, sometimes a fa- there's a big family in there, grandchildren, great-grandchildren, wives and son-in-laws, in-laws and everything like that, which is community, I guess to, you could call that. You know, gather every morning to... <coughs> Give thanks to the great spirit taking them through the night in there without any problem or anything like that. <coughs> in the morning again, he gets up to go to work. He always had his road in there, his doings, his work in there. He was all blazed in there what he had to do. Children was taught in there through their parents, grandparents, how to how to work, how to survive. Keep away from sin. How to avoid all that you know there's a there's a devil, there's always an evil spirit and a good spirit. Working. We know everybody knows that. So these are the things you gotta work. Heart is the great spirit. I ask him to give you power to resist and not do the things which he doesn't want you to do in his sight. These are the things that's a very important thing in life. Would you have other in life in there? You could be doing something that you're not supposed to do. What, what do you get out of it? You don't get anything out of that. You got to do the things right. You feel better. You're happy. You go to bed, you have no problem. You have nothing to worry about because you can look back and see what you've done that day. And that's your rest, that's your happiness right there. And that's why I say that the Indian was rich in so many ways in his life. He banded and denied and threw it away. Judas thought of the, what God had given, what the great spirit had given, the way to live. Now we're gathering, we're structuring back our culture again. We're, I don't know how it's going to be. We have to do an awful lot of work. Children have lost their language. Talk to them. Now you got to teach them to. they got to be taught to, to, to learn how to speak their language. It'll take an awful lot of time to, to come back to, to be an Indian. <coughs> Great spirit to find you where he created you <coughs> in life. It's going to take a lot of time. And I see all these celebration that the young people are, they're very, very determined to have do this thing as possible, working hard to make this thing bring your people here inviting you to find our, find our way back again. There's going to be an awful lot of work. A lot of work. Determination, willpower, and we have to ask, always ask the Great Spirit for help, to help us. And this is our, this is our life. We, have, we can't go without the Great Spirit, His blessings every day. The sunrise in the morning in there, Glorify the great creator's creations to show you, to make you happy. Look at the leaves again, look at the trees, mountains and everything that that's coming up again today. You know, this the summer in there, you see the gardens will be coming up there. We'll be able to enjoy everything. That's all for us to be happy. But the mistakes probably we make in neglecting our bodies in there, whatever way we live today, that cause the sickness, cause the problems, cause the heartaches, stuff like that. I hear too sometimes that uh, our children, young people today, they're taking up a lot of this uh, marijuana and one thing or another. That's, that's very, marijuana is a good thing, very best. You can't abuse it. it. It'll use you good if you use it right. Respect that. You got to respect everything. And if you don't, it's going to abuse you. 
want to really wreck your life because it's got the power which we haven't got. This is the things we have to do, is to be thankful, to appreciate, and to ask the great spirit for power, guide, good guidance as we live along. That's the only way we're going to survive. So brothers and sisters, I thank you very much for listening to me. And thank you, thank you very, very much, brothers and sisters.